from the cellars. Let's take a walk up to the first floor. And originally all of this was uh, covered in plasterboard, so none of this was visible. Uh, this entryway that we've broken through here was a wall. So there was no way through, we just basically cut the beam that was there. And uh, so this is just the, the stairwell. Uh, the wall on the right we had to rebuild because there was a rotten beam underneath. So that was only a month or so ago. And there you can see the, the wall heating uh, in the hallway here. And that's the bricked up original door. And uh, yeah, if you look at the picture here, that's what the hall used to look like after the carpet was removed. Yeah. And then behind the plasterboard on the front side of the house, it used to look like that. So kind of brick and uh, stuff between the beams. So from here, go through our new doorway into the living room, which is nine meters long by well, five meters wide at the widest point. So again, wall heating. Lots of windows and we're ready for the plastering to begin. So the corner beading is done. Um, insulated on the inside, this part of the house. The distributor for the heating system. So all of the pipes in the wall are connected to here. And uh, each of those little blue knobs will have a, a servo motor on top of it that will control the flow. Um, so it'll be thermostatically controlled. And then in here we had, uh, again, this was all covered in, in plasterboard. And where that beam is that you see running across the top, there was a wall here, so there was a little dining room at the back. So we opened all that up and that's a, a new old beam because it, the other one was cracked. And uh, that's what it looked like halfway through the renovation. So after all the plasterboard had been removed, pretty dirty walls with kind of clay between the, the, the stones and uh, that was the back part, the limestone and then that's how it looked like after a bit of sandblasting but quite a quite a decent room I think so all of this in the next week or two will be uh, completely plastered and we go through then into the kitchen which is probably looks the most chaotic but actually yeah, a lot of work has been done in here, so all the wiring and stuff that uh, goes with the kitchen needs quite a lot of electricity and the uh, the, the box with the um, yeah, the power switches, the safety switches are uh, behind this wall, so all the wiring on this level comes through uh, into this particular wall. And we'll have entry or exit out into the garden from here which is definitely looking like a building site now uh, but at least it's leveled out and ready to build a, a terrace so the kitchen will go into part of the room we're looking at now with two walls there and there and then the the area where I'm standing here will be for a, a small table so again this will be plastered uh, fairly soon ceilings are all ready for plastering as well with clay plaster we've put a mesh on so that it holds better and then every beam is getting wrapped up because we don't want to sand and clean them all again I've already done it about twice in this room and uh, where those newer ceilings were installed in the 70s so after they built an extension on the back of the house uh, they removed the original beams so we put plasterboard there and just trying to decide what kind of lighting we put up there before I close that completely and then here also. And just because uh, this was two rooms, this is what it looked like uh, before we did anything. Well, actually that's what it looked like before we did anything when it was full of stuff on this side. And with everything out where there was a wall and a door to the other side. The door would have been here going through and the post here is also new there was a really crappy looking modern post there so we uh, bought an old oak beam from a neighbor and then this is where the kitchen originally was so that's the door out into the hallway so it was quite small so we've opened it up quite nicely i think and once the floor is done things are covered over and once the the plastering is done i mean it already looks a lot better the chimney is exposed so That'll be quite nice, I hope. And if we go through to what was the 
a former kind of small hallway. Here we're putting in a, a partition wall. And here would be a small bathroom. I have this cordoned off because we had 30 people viewing the house yesterday. People who were interested in this type of thing. And uh, I had to make sure they didn't walk in here. And It's not exactly the safest because there's no floor. So here would be the uh, walk-in shower, toilet and then the sink will go in the corner here. Small but this will be our, our first bathroom. We'll make do with that for the first while. And then probably our bedroom not so sure yet but we've wired it up at least so that uh, there's light switches beside the bed so that you can lie in bed and turn it on and off the light um, and then behind here a smaller room which will be my office to begin with but we could also use it as a, a small study or something off the bedroom again quite basic this bit of wall heating and same affair with the ceilings etc and between the two because that's north facing we've installed this old window that we uh, got from a neighbour which is really nice we just have to clean it up a little bit more and oil or wax it or something and uh, this was the original doorway which we've blocked up here and uh, my idea is to put a, a big mirror in there so that we can put a frame and still see the original uh, the original post and stuff and what that looked like before was uh, well that's where that doorway was that we're looking at right now and the original wall between this and the small room behind and then when we ripped all the plasterboard and stuff off that's what it looked like and you know took the plasterboard down off the ceiling so that was a, a lot of work to clean the uh, the oak uh, beam in the ceiling and the and the walls and that type of thing so i think it's worth it though oak is great and that's the first level